sharp head bangers. Here we are at Chateau Moulin Fishing. They do say dreams can come true, so we're after a few of them, aren't we? <laughs> anyway, we're here to fish this 40 acre lake with eight other of my other buddies, so we've got plenty of water to fish at. So let's go inside, let's see how we get on, eh? See you in a bit, carphead bangers. Good morning, carphead bangers. Well, I don't know what time it is. I've been up about 20 minutes, to be honest. Staring at the water. It's, <laughs> it's only just stopped raining. <laughs> oh, right. Hey. Been raining for about two days, solid. Obviously, I've only been on the lake now full, well, since 12 yesterday. Just got drenched. Ah, <laughs> oh, but what a lake. This lake is absolutely amazing just got it, everything you want about it. The bad news is, <laughs> I come eight out the draw. I think I picked the, well, you know, it's got an opportunity, this peg, it's called the oak tree peg. <laughs> Nothing clever about the swim, it's just basically simple fishing, there's pads in front of me, well in fact all in, all around me and I'm just aiming, aiming in a couple of gaps and to be fair I've been told about going down the, the margin to me right but there's a, a bush to me left there to me right I'm not awake yet <laughs> there's a bush to me right and I've used the bait boat to take it down there. So, um, nothing on that yet. But as for putting bait out in front of me, it's just catapult. No spammer mark, eh? As much as I've brought them, like. And you do need them on the other's pegs, I must admit. But anyway, give you a look at the lake. We are carped bangers. This is the tray I'm referring to to the right hand side of me. Just hitting the water's edge. So I've gone past that with the bait boat. Further down to the right where there's some um, broken branches just by the lily pads there and uh, that's the start of me right hand rod as you can see the you can see the dam wall or the sluice wall and then they got the chateau to the left and this what's in front of me at the minute pads in fact my second rod is just in that gap in front of me now as you see as I said it's just a catapult shock My third rod's in the, uh, where you've got the break in the light from the dark to the, the lighter side. Just in that gap there. And then we just open out into the lake itself. 40 acres in size. What a venue. 
hopefully I'll show you around a little bit later on we get a bit more organized no ducks no swans <laughs> I've seen no tommies <laughs> Ooh, but I've got bubbles. Let me swim. Look at that. There's definitely bubbles going on. Can you see them? Like Nick's got a fish. Yeah, just put, put back to the egg Ooh. Well done, Nick. Ooh, looks a beauty. How big's all that? Uh, 38, mate. Right, let me just get on the other side. Oh, hey. That's a chunk. Uh. Absolute chunk. Superb. You're sending it back, are you? Yeah, it's just going now, mate. All right, okay. Quite disappointing, I missed that. <laughs> Nice work for Cole after listening to the fight last night. There she goes. Well, there you go, carp head bangers. That's just one of the potential fish you can catch in here. Beautiful. Really gonna enjoy it this week. Looking forward to it. This is where Nick has just caught that 38 common just down the margin here. So uh, good angling from him, just about six or seven boilies around the hoop bait. Well this is the boat swim, carp head bangers. This is where you've just seen that 38 and a half common, that Nick caught. From Ashima. As you can see some pads on the far side, that's where I'll be aiming with one of my rods. And you can see my bivvy in the front here. Well here's the view from the damn wall, carp head bangers. Doesn't that view look epic? Beautiful. This is the lake water now running down the sluice. Absolutely beautiful. Well, the wind's changed. It's gone more cloudy. I think the rain's coming back. I've baited the spots up. Rods are in. I'm happy in me nappy. Just a case of waiting now. Hopefully something comes my way. Well, I'm gonna put some boilies out where them pads are there. Apparently that's where they come in when they Sides come up the lake. So, just gonna uh, feed that option up a little bit. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be fishing it all the time, but if I see something, then uh, it gives me an option to switch a rod. 
So I'll just put some boilies out now, I think. I'm loving it here. Is <laughs> Dan a bastion gonna be throwing 200k bloody <laughs> sweet corn in? <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my god, he's gonna be putting buckets and buckets in. Look at him. Oh my. Oh, hey, can you see that? Oh, turn around, boat. You can see the yellow from here. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> well, I hope he has a good time, because I tell you what, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, he's feeding the breed. <laughs> uh, we've all got walkie talkies here, car bed bangers. <laughs> uh, look at that! <laughs> He needs a bigger boat. <laughs> oh, he's going to have some fun with that. Things we have to do to be anglers. God love them. Anyway, time for the drink. Catch you later, they guys. I think it's going to start raining in a minute. Well, here's the rain again. Dan's gone back out in the boat to put a load of sweet corn on another spot. Looks like he's heading back to that original spot. Should have seen the amount of tins in the bag. Unbelievable. Cases and cases and cases of them. Well, the best pegs are definitely down that end of the lake. Fears and ponds. New swim. Then you've got Scarecrow. A lot of fish have been coming off down there, but unfortunately when you've come off eight out of nine of us, you don't get the better pegs. So, just have to work hard, be patient, not overkill me swim. Hopefully if something comes along, you get a result. Oh yeah, he's thrashing a load of sweet corn out there.
put a few freebies out. This is my spot, just by the pad. Gotta put a few freebie out, freebies out, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go for a little walk around the lake, eh, carpet bangers? I'm not gonna do the whole lake because there's a lot, a lot of lake to be going round. <laughs> Could have been putting some bait. And then pads. Oh, what's this down here? Oh, this looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait, hey, look at that. Absolutely amazing that. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you what, unbelievable. Unbelievable. No way. Now on to the next swim. Or oh, the continuation of the of the old swim from the old tree. Here it is. Well, let's go through the gated area to Dougal Falls, or Dougal Fall, I should say. There we go. Yeah. Dougal Fall. Plenty of room in here. As you can see. Pegs are well separated. There's no way you should have any conflict with any other angler on this lake, I'm afraid. Some pads here. Beautiful. Anyway, we go on to the next swim. There's a bit of a way to go, so I'll start filming when I get closer to the peg, I think. Right, we're getting near the swim now, with the platform. This is the third swim on my side of the lake. One of the lads is fishing this, he's had a 60 pound catfish, a couple of uh, carp, a few bream. There we go. This has got in front of me. Beautiful. See the pads over there. It's about a 90 yard chuck. All them pads out there. Looks like he's got three of his rods aiming towards them pads over there. Nice little bench to sit on. <laughs> oh, how nice is that? It's 
my bivvy down there, the right hand side. Damn wall. Wind's changed now, it's pushing towards my way, which is good, because all day it's been pushing the opposite way. Perfect, doesn't it? Absolutely perfect. Anyway, let's continue on. There's a peg, it's not being fished. fishing I think not exactly big enough for a bivy but I think when you come on a an adventure like this then it's more or less set out for the uh, carp head bank uh, the carp head bankers <laughs> the carp anglers Absolutely marvellous, look at that. The wooded area behind us. Ooh. Got a little adventure going on here. <laughs> Without getting soaked. Right, let's see how we get on. <laughs> to do that and this is the shaggy tall shaggy tall <laughs> more lilies brilliant marvellous Another swim which is in there uh, getting used. But there is room to put your bivy in that. But anyway, it's called the boundary. Let's go on to Dan's swim. Dan a bassian. Oh <laughs> your swim smelly. I can smell the bream you've been catching, lad. <laughs> The uh, bream? Bit of corn, bit of boily. Oh, the, oh, that corn you put out earlier on? No, 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 just there. How many wraps out is that? Hmm? How many wraps is that, that out there? Just 25, mate. 25 wraps, yeah. Yeah. They uh, seem to believe it's flat, but I found a bit of a gully. Right, okay. So, it's about 12, 30 foot deep, so, or so my marker rod says. So, um, that's where I'm fishing. So, well, but, it's been producing, uh, hasn't it? No bream. carp off it? Oh, just no bream? Carp, yeah. Oh, right, okay, no, no carp. carp. Yeah. Oh, you've had carp though, haven't you? Yeah, I'm fishing the zigs now. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, the so, sun was out for a bit, wasn't it? Just a little bit. Mm. So, what depth are your zigs? Uh, at the moment, seven foot. Right. So, but uh, the pressure's not too high. No, it's not. So, Quite nice, actually. It's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Well, you've got plenty of water, haven't you, Dan? Just a little bit. <laughs> it's Isn't probably it? the most open swim on the lake. Isn't it? <laughs> Marvellous. There's no hazards, really. There is. Oh, is there? The main hot spot where you're fishing, there are the hazards. Basically, the fish run straight into it, and it's quite thick with rocks. Right. To be okay. Just about put that out, are you, or just setting up? No, just putting it out. Right, okay. Yeah. 
One's a fresh head down a bass, you're not gonna crack off, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Never mate, it's only Never. a trick. Woo! The money. On the money. On the corner of those ropes down there, is no, it? No, that's just a boiling spot, that. Oh, right, okay. A lot of people seem to forget about fishing the open water on this place. They get too sucked in. It's as if, you you know, you're in a lake full of islands. People get sucked into the islands and they yeah, don't think about the features. The features. Yeah. You know, there's the an lake. old lake bed that runs through here from that river mouth up yeah. to the top. And if you follow it, it comes through and then it goes, it bows out wide here and comes back in through the centre pads and that's yeah. why that channel's completely clear through yeah. the centre pads because that's the old riverbed which then follows down and comes down past mm. you in oak tree across the front and then down to the runoff but yeah the bream are pretty big in here so that's why the owner obviously suggests big baits. Got a nice setup going on here, Dan. Yeah, yeah. I haven't got the level out though, have I? No, you haven't, but, but it looks good though, doesn't it? <laughs> hey. Taking advantage of the wooden post. Isn't it? I like it. So. They'll be making some of them soon. <laughs> At lakes. It's got everything, can it? Yeah, he's got everything. With this uh, nice sort of south southwest wind that's coming in right now, I'm feeling really confident for this evening. Mm. Very. Well, I think we all are, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Definitely. It's a lake the where. The wind's changed again as well. Yeah. It's a lake where, near enough every expanse that it is, every swim can produce mm. fish. Yeah, well, it's. I like where I am. It's beautiful Very down good. there. Yeah. You know, and well, we're about two, three weeks away from spawning. Yeah. So, and Which is good. obviously everyone wants to come up to furs. Everyone yeah. wants to fish furs. It's a hot spot. But the, the fact of the matter is, is once the males come up to these pads and they start holding up, the females don't want to be there. No. So they all move down. Yeah. They get out of the way. And yeah. as you've already seen, there's been beautiful 38 yeah. common and an yeah. upper 20 out from yeah. down there, you know. And you won't find one male down there. No. No, you won't, not at all. all. Yeah. Yeah, because they're all up here. Yeah. Well. So. It's not been on fire yet, though, has it? It's not been on fire yet. We're waiting for something to switch it on, but yeah. 26 degrees tomorrow could actually well, be. If if it's right, yeah. could actually be. Well, you are in the, the better switch. pegs, though, aren't you, Dan? <laughs> Look at the draw. I can't help I, it, you know. I know, I know. <laughs> That's my first good draw of the year, and know. you know, You're this is pleased. <laughs> this is like private fishing, not match it, fishing. It? I know. <laughs> Had a bit of a good day, really. I enjoyed myself. The food's been good at the clubhouse. Been around a little bit of the lake, seen a little bit more of it. Got me rods all out. I think we're going to have 28 degrees tomorrow. The lake's all calm as you can see. Haven't seen one fish. They've had a few bleeps off this uh, left hand rod. Not to give me the indication to strike it. Rooster's not doing me any good. See now, everyone's being quiet today. I think Dan's only had two bream. Mix only had that 38 and a half common this morning. I think that's all has been out today so far. It's a beautiful lake, all right. Not seeing much better than this. In fact, I haven't seen anything better than this, to be honest. 
<laughs> it's a proper angler's water. It's not a runs water. It's got some good lumps in it. There's quite a few fish out last week. But um, considering the better pegs have been very quiet. It's a bit strange really. It's like it's switched off a little bit. The lake is. Uh, the lake, I mean. Oh, <laughs> a sign. Well, what we want is a screamer. The facilities in here are great. The hospitality is really good. Food's good. I had quite a few laughs.